what's going on guys and welcome back to some more paper mario in the last part we did none other than made the flower fields and this part we're gonna explore a little bit of flower fields anyway so um i did a badge reevaluation because there's gonna be a couple badges recommended first of all i recommend having mega quake for second of all i recommend having any power plus badges or all or nothing badges and second of all I recommend having Dizzy Attack on, and I'm gonna just tell you why later on in this chapter. But, um, yeah, I guess, uh, that'll be that. I guess we can put on Refund as kind of a filler badge. Hold on a second. Uh, I guess, yeah, we can put on Refund as kind of a filler badge. Um, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> There's a new enemy, but we actually have to go right, but, um, I guess we can swap out our party members, but, um, I should have all drank some of these people. Uh, yeah, these are new enemies. Um, if we go, if we, these are new enemies. These are the uh, crazy daisies. They uh, can do a, a sing attack and they occasionally can put you to sleep. But since we have power plus, two power pluses and all or nothing, like one of these jumps attack is gonna kill them. So um, some of these enemies later on are gonna do more damage. This is also why I recommend put getting more HP up. Plus, more the next level up is gonna be an HP level up. Okay, but um, now uh, there's a badge, but I forget the order. But there's also I also get hit by the first strike. But uh, there's a new enemy also. These enemies they have very little HP. These these B zaps. Up there, I'm pronouncing that right. So they have like. 5 HP, I think, maybe even less, but like, the key is, they have a really strong attack, as they just did 5 damage to us. Yeah, one jump attack will take them out, and one belly flop will take them out. And we are already almost to a level up, which uh, is gonna be great. We're gonna, if there's any chapter you should get level ups in, it's this one, I'm gonna elaborate more later on, so I think it's, it's this one first. Wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, well, let's just leave the screen, come back. But um, uh, it's middle, right, then left, then. Middle, right, left. And we get the happy flower badge, which is happy, is like happy heart, except uh, we basically get more FP. So, um, now, um, Anyway, so sorry for the uh, the uh, goof off, but um, when we go in this area, there's also a hidden star. But like, get a red berry. I'm actually gonna get two red berries, which you'll see why in a bit. But um, I don't know where the star piece is. I think it's around here. Oh, there it is. Talk to this flower-looking thing. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. But I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems the whole world is sad. Now these money moles dig in into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. I have a beautiful sea collection will be on money mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get those money moles for me? In case you're wondering, the money moles I'm talking about are this guy, and this jerk, and this troublemaker, and this wicked creature. This guy is, well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. Please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting you to save us. So, uh, we have to fight all these guys. And, uh, this is another reason I recommend the Dizzy Attack Badge. Um, one of the reasons I recommend the Dizzy Attack Badge for this chapter. So, uh, yeah, we are, we're one star point away from a level up. So, um, take out the one that isn't dazed. Their max HP is going to be 12. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Yes, yeah, so we just have to do another jump and another uh, power uh, and another. Uh, we just have to do another jump and another. Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, another sky error. No, sky attack for me. But um, anyway, we gotta level up. So we're gonna get our HP up this time. We have 20 HP and 20 FP, which is low for this part of the game. But we have a lot of badges, so um, I think I'm gonna switch from Carry Carry to Cooper because he uses less, less FP. But um. Yeah, so this is where, where the Mega Quake's gonna come in handy. It uses seven FP, but look at this. 
It did nine damage, and we can just power shell and it'll kill them. And they they gave twelve they gave twelve star points. That's really solid. The problem is it didn't use a lot. We had to it cost us ten FP to use that. So um, I don't recommend using it often. We're just gonna do it this last time. And one more power shell. We're out of FP though, so we're gonna have to go to Toe Town. The interesting thing is we're actually gonna go back to Toe Town after we handle this. And we already have 23 star points, so um very solid. There's gonna be a way there's gonna be a way there's gonna be an enemy in this area. We're gonna get a lot of star points in. There we go. This is only one of them, so we just have to use a jump attack, and uh that'll, that'll be good. Here we go, and uh yeah, and uh, I guess I'm gonna do a badger evaluation. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to use danger strats now. So let's get rid of our danger strat badge and see what we can replace with other things. Um, let's see. I guess FP plus could work and uh, try. That should be good. We talk to this flower. Oh, yippee, hooray, hurrah, you really, we got rid of the money walls. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll show you how grateful I am. I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are. You got the magical bean. Hmm, yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the seed maniac. He, <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, I, I bought that magical bean that I gave you. You shouldn't plant it. Not because there's a seed, you'll always enjoy freedom. After it's planted, it'll sprout up and never be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, though, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout going with one of my cute little seed. No. If you're wondering, the last part, that was exactly what we were told to use. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to use that. But, um, I actually want to go back to Toad Town really quick and take care of a few things. Um, we can go back to Toad Town. You can go back to Toad Town easily by just talking to the wise Wisterwood, which, um, always just reminds me of the great Deku tree for whatever reason. I know both Paper Mario and Ocarina of Time are both made by Nintendo, but uh, yeah, I guess it's just it's just it's just a strange coincidence. I just had to heal, so uh, we're actually gonna um, we use the red berry. We're actually gonna make a tasty recipe, but one of which is the red berry. But we also have to uh, we also have to take out one of the. We also think I wanted the mis ma the uh, the uh, magic herb we got in we're put in the shop. This is why I put many of them because I know I was gonna ne I need them later on. But uh, I forgot I didn't have any of them. I'll be right back. All right, I went and got a ma I went and got a strangely strange leaf off stream. So uh, yeah, we're gonna use one of the we're gonna, we're gonna use the red berry for a tasty recipe. We're gonna use the strange leaf and the red berry, which uh. We now have access to one of the one of the tasty recipes that we previously didn't, but uh We had a sleepy sheep, so uh yeah, you well know, let's just uh I guess that's uh I guess there's also a few su I guess there's also a couple of super blocks that I missed, so uh we're just gonna go and grab those. Um first of all, there's one over here we're gonna need sushi for. Just gonna go over here. I could have gotten this earlier, but uh, we're just we might as well get it when we can. And there's a uh, there's one of these super blocks. So uh, yeah, I guess we can uh, I guess let's alter rank uh, let's alter rank Watt. Watt is by far my favorite party member to use in Paper Mario, so we might as well alter rank him or her. Yeah, Watt's a she. I. I always get that mixed up, whatever reason. I always, I know Watt's a, a, a girl, but like, I never knew that until I was older, for whatever reason. Right, but you know, the game says it. But anyway, if you go left to here, you actually get, um, our piece. Which we have a bit of, we have a little bit of those, so, um, I guess we could, um, 
We're actually gonna, I actually, we'll do it after this chapter, but um, I was gonna go over to shooting stars time to get more badges, but um, you're actually pretty, we're actually in pretty good position to complete, for completion and rest purposes, but um, there's actually a couple more super blocks I wanna get in the Toe Tow tunnels, so we might as well go and grab those. Now we can ultra rank party members. Um, I wanna see if we go to the left, uh, by the way, we have to. Go pay our boy Chuck Quizmo a visit. There we go. There you are. What's the question this time, Chuck Quizmo? Who's the name of Star Storm? Star Storm? That would be Skolar. We've got 41 questions so far. So we only have 23 Chuck Quizmo quizzes left. And whatever ones I don't get in between chapters, I'll just hunt for them in chapter eight. Or chapter eight is what I mean. Um, that's kind of the best way to get Chuck Wismo quit, to hunt down Chuck Wismo and get the remaining ones. Now, remember that super block that we previously could not get to? Now we have the ultra hammer, we can get to that. There was a super block we previously could not, and I guess we can ultra in Cooper. Because uh, I actually like using Cooper a lot more than I ever did in, like, even, like, two years ago. Like, um, when I was practicing for this playthrough, I found just a new love for Cooper, whatever reason. Back to what? That's my girl. Well, she's an infant, so I guess it's kind of creepy. I take that back. I guess there's, there's also one more super block that we haven't reached yet. Actually, did we reach one super block? No, we didn't. All the way back where the uh, Koopa, the uh, one of the pipes are, but uh, I guess we can go grab that. I could have gotten it earlier, but I prefer to do it at, this, at the point where we can alter rank party members. There's a super block up there, so we might as well go grab it. Now let's get that, and we also need to switch to Paracarry. I actually almost have all the super blocks now. Like, there's only gonna be a few more left. We're gonna ultra rank Bombette now. We might as well get ultra rank and Bombette out of the way. Back to what? So, yeah, pretty much like. Out of our current party members, Goombario and Bo, we have left to ult we have yet to ultra rank. So um Plus we uh, actually do get another party member in chapter six. So we have a few super blocks left. I guess we can go back to flower fields and uh I guess we can give the red berry to the uh I guess we can give the, I guess we can give the red berry to uh I guess we can go back to attack more flower fields, but um. Now, I didn't say this already, but I probably should have. This is my least favorite chapter in the whole game. Like, um, it's bad for casual playthroughs because of backtracking, and like even speedrunners. Like, I've had interactions with like pe people who speedrun this game, and like they all hate this chapter too because there's a lot of backtracking. And there's, we have to give the red berry. If you give him anything else, he'll spit it out. But yeah, this is by far my least favorite chapter in Paper Mario because of all the backtracking that's required. Hey, a new enemy. So, um, I guess we can go to the rough, we can use the rough puffs. Um, I decided to take him out first, but uh, let's just say they're not as bad as the uh, Zaps or whatever they're called. Watt does a very consistent five damage. That's why she's my favorite party member to use in this game. She doesn't use any FP, she can deal a very consistent five damage. It's a honey syrup. We got a honey syrup. Blame for this part of the game, kind of think of it. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a quick, uh, I'm gonna do a quick uh, bad readjustment. I don't think I'm gonna need Mega Quake much any for this remainder of this chapter. So, um. You guys can be equipped D down jump. If you wonder why I'm equipping that, you'll see why in a second. Um, what else we can do? Um, I guess we can get Spike Shield. Let's get Spike Shield. So, uh, yeah, if we, get, if we hit the tree, make sure to get the yellow berries. 
This is the hidden where the hidden star piece is. Make sure to get around that. So if we go left and we talk to uh, this one right here. In this crystal tree, have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all this world? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Oh, hmm, what's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose. Oh, how, how rude. Anyways, the fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. You know, you happen to, I happen to like it. He, your nose is pretty nice too. I could stand by a little bit longer. You can stand by a little bit longer, so why don't you take the fertile soil with you? Your nose will be perfect soon. He, he. So I guess we have one more, uh, I guess we already have one more, one more thing we have left to do in, uh, I, do I forgot to do the letter side quest, so, um, we got this chapter. But if we hit this tree, ouch, be gentle with this tree. The tree and I connected at the roots, so it hurts me when you hit tree. I give you a persistent, ouch, be gentle with this tree. I think if you hit a certain amount of times. I think there's something that happens if you hit a certain amount of times. I don't know, I have to, re I'd have to do a real bit of I think there. I think I saw it in a playthrough, but uh, I don't know. I could be making shit up. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is um, last thing we'll do in this part is we're gonna, we'll give the yellow berry to the appropriate guard. Yellow flower and the yellow berry. Now there's one en new enemy. I want to more enemy. I want to see and. Um, there's one more enemy. Make sure to also uh, be careful here. Go go back in it. We're not here. We're, I think we're past the point in the game where we're gonna rely on danger strats for more attack though. But um, anyway, that's not the enemy placement I want. One of those daisy crazy daisies. By the way, make sure to get the star piece. But one of those crazy daisies and gonna have a power up. Be uh, a new enemy. We have to kind of manipulate the screen to get what we want, and that's not it. It either. I'll eat you know, it. Um, maybe I'll cut till I get it. Send it either. All right, a couple more attempts and I'll cut till I get the enemy. Send it. Eat one more time. There we go. Anyway, meet the amazing daisies. Now, if you want to level up really fast, just use the dizzy attack badge, take out these enemies, and uh, yeah, they give a Fuck, they have 20 HP, but they give a fuckload of star points if you beat them. We're gonna use the D down jump, so, um... They have one point of defense, but with watch, you'll do consistent five damage, so, um... We'll do one more jump, and I'll take her- they'll take the Amazing Daisy out. Look at the star points they give, by the way. They give 43 star points. We're already almost to a level up. We got another Honey Syrup. I guess we can use that to make to get our FP back up. But yeah, you can grind these enemies over and over and over again. You can like get to max level. It's like insane. If you if there's any if there's any enemies to grind to, it's the amazing daisies. Now there's one more um one there's one thing I want to get right here. I'm also gonna have to go back to Toad Town. We get the jam and jelly. I guess we can get another taste tea recipe out of that also. Oh, how horrible. The spring went dry. Oh, I tried you. Oh, this can't happen to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. So is somebody. This horrible thing that rises the clouds took our precious water stone. Horrible is that magical water stone. Without the spring will never recover. Oh, and it'll wither up if I put on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily. Oh, no. Don't give up, Lily. Perhaps in Hampton Prince will arrive and help you soon. Hmm. Oh. Prince, well, he actually looks more like a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. Oh, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in the spring. To tell you the truth, I have to ask you, can you do me a favor? Can you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Yes. Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. The water stone looks just like this. Please find it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's an appropriate time to end this part. So, uh, next time on Paper Mario... We are going to, um, we're gonna get, try to see if we can claim the water stone. See you guys then.